Hello everybody, this is going to be such a cool nappy chat. I'm so, so honoured to be talking to Cara today, who's going to be telling us all about how she uses cloth nappies at her place. So Cara, do you want to say hi and let us know how old your little one is? Hi, um, I, um, I'm Cara. Uh, my youngest that I'm using cloth with currently is four months. Great. And um, what made you want to start using cloth? Um, I just, I literally couldn't get disposables. So I was, everybody was panic buying um, when I was pregnant with him. And I, I started stressing out every time I went to the supermarket. Um, there wasn't any newborn size nappies. There wasn't even really any size nappies at all. I, I, unless it was like toddler sizing. And I was, I was having a conversation with my sister and I was stressing out and I was like, I don't know what I'm going, I don't know how I'm going to put nappies on my baby. Yeah. Uh, and she sent me um, some sassy pants nappies. She ordered them from the website. Um, and yeah, we started using them pretty much as soon as, as soon as they came. Um, and I just fell in love with them. Um, and so how often are you using them now? Are you using them full time or part time or like what's your usual routine? Yeah, so um, we use cloth full time. We've been doing full time since he was about two months old. Yeah. Fantastic. And how are you finding that they're lasting? I mean, how often are you having to nappy change? Um, well, they're all completely different. So um, I have a stash of three different brands that I use religiously. And then there's a couple like work at home mum ones that I use because they've got patterns on them that I like. Right. Um, <laughs> but... Um, I normally find that my cloth nappies last three to four hours because yeah. I make sure to buy the good quality ones. Um, right. and, and that's something that I decided from the beginning, instead of getting a cheaper stash um, of nappies that weren't necessarily good quality, but were just a bit cheaper, I opted to have less nappies and get, get better ones so they would last longer. I think then you're not washing them as often either because if you've got really cheap nappies and you have to change them every hour or two, that's really going to add up over time, like your time, but also all of the powder and, and, the, and the time to wash it, etc. You know, like it does make a big difference if you only have to, you know, have a change every three to four hours. So are you using two booster pads or just one booster pad in the nappy? So in my sassy pants, um, I, use, I use the two inserts. So there's the booster, or oh, they might both be called boosters. Yeah. Um, there's the hemp and then the, the other one. Um, and I do use, yeah, so the sassy pants take two. I've got nappies that take one, but they're like a different type of, different type of pad. Yeah. Um, but I, I could get away with one. I'm just, I'm scared, I'm scared of leaks. So I always um, try to boost them as much as, as they can be boosted, just yeah. in case we're out and about, because that's, nobody, nobody enjoys that. That's messy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is true. Um, so what do you do with your cleaning? Do you just leave them all day and then clean them at night? Or do you have like a little routine that you do for cleaning them? Um, so with mine, I just have the traditional sort of like nappy bucket with pail. Um, I really wanted to struck it. My husband said no. So he uh, <laughs> just stabbed a whole bunch of holes <laughs> in this cheap one from Big W. Um, <laughs> DIY struck it. And I find that um, every evening I do um, a pre-wash. So that's like the 30 minutes um, on 60 degrees with um, just, just straight out of my bucket. Um, and then every two days I'll do a main wash, like the really long wash on the 40. And that's what I found on the clean cloth nappies guidelines. That's what they recommended doing. Um, I am super lazy though, and I will admit that all of my inserts go through my dryer. I don't put them on my clothesline, <laughs> um, which is another reason that I don't use as many nappies because uh, I don't need as many because I use my dryer. <laughs> right. Yeah, well, I think there's no, there's no harm in putting your inserts in the dryer. I mean, they are designed that you can do that if needed. Yeah. Um, and I think, like, as busy mums, that's, you know... That, that's what we do sometimes, isn't it? I mean, I don't think that's a problem. I mean, the thing is with the shells, you can occasionally put them in the dryer as long as it's on a low heat as well. Um, yeah. yeah. They don't go in the dryer. Um, I do find they go around my kitchen table. Um, it makes it look like a little bit of a laundry. Um, but they dry in Queensland. It's so hot here. Even 
we're just at the start of spring, but it's really hot. So they just end up, they end up drying in less than an hour, really, really quickly. Okay, it sounds like you have such a good system going um, with your cloth nappies. Have you got a favourite um, Sassy Pants nappy that um, brings you joy and that you're really enjoying using at the moment? Um, absolutely. So I, I would love to show it to you. My sleeping baby is wearing it. Um, but my favourite nappy of all time is the Sassy Pants Tuatara nappy. Uh, the shell hardly gets dry before I'm stuffing the inserts into it and it goes on him every second day without fail. Um, I, I love that one. I'm always like every time it gets mentioned, I get excited thinking that it's coming back and I can buy 30 of them and I don't need any other nappy. Um, <laughs> Uh, but when that one is busy, I use I like the bear hunt one as well. Fantastic. I'm so pleased that it's sparking joy for you. Have you got any tips that you want to give to a parent who might be watching this who hasn't used cloth nappies before? What would be like a tip or some advice that you want to give them? Yeah, um, try it. It's not scary. Um, it's not actually that messy either. Buy liners. Buy those um, so the disposable ones are fine or... You know, um, if you're a little bit more environmentally conscious and you want to use the, the reusable ones, they're fine too. But they not only save the nappy, um, they save the scrubbing. The, the poo for me is the scary part. Um, so that saves me so, so much scrubbing and it makes it so much easier to clean. And um, I know that you've got a Kmart over there. So yeah, we do. <laughs> get a silicon brush. <laughs> From the kitchen section, amazing. I, they're five dollars. They're fantastic. It's the best investment that I made with my cloth nappies. Well, that's fantastic. So hopefully, whoever's watching this, you can do it. Poo is not that disgusting. It's okay. You'll you'll get there. It'll be fine. If I can, <laughs> if do, can do it, you can do it. That's right. <laughs> oh, well, thank you so much. It's been such a joy, and to know that Sassy Pants are going over to Australia and being well loved over there as well is just like the best. I am about to send a package off to the UK. So, um, you know, and I sent one last week to the US. So it seems like people are kind of um, enjoying Sassy Pants all over the world, which is really, really exciting. So thank you so much for your time. Yeah, thank you for, thank you for calling. And um, I've got another order that, <laughs> that needs to go in now that I'm thinking of it. I'm, I've been telling um, all of my friends that use cloth about sassy pants and I keep lending my sassy pants out so they can try them enough that I know they're going to fall in love with them and they want to buy their own um, but I want all mine to come back <laughs> I want them. that sounds fantastic well thank you so much for spreading the word it really um, brings so much joy to know that not only they're bringing joy to you but you want to rave about them to other people so thank you okay